This is the property on Wilton over in Doraville. As you can see, one, two, the third house is a brand new construction. Looks about three, looks about 3,000 square feet. So helping this area is already great and still people are building here. Well kept community. Property next door is for sale. Someone's already bought it and it's gonna renovate that. And there's the rest of the community there. So let's go inside. This property has the roof is all good in shape. Exterior is actually very well kept. Interior was very well kept until there was a fire. So in here you can tell. Here's the uh, closet. This is sort of like the uh, dining area. Kitchens there in the back. This here is the living room. As you can tell. There was once fire damage. More than anything, this is just smoke damage. Not really much uh, fire. As you can tell, the fire, the heat of the fire only bubbled up the she rock. So it didn't get into the walls. As you can see, the structure of the house, so the, all the wood beams and joists are still in good shape. Didn't get burnt whatsoever. So you would take out this she rock here, replace it, texture it. Um, and then put it back. The door and everything here, all the wood that was burnt that you would actually have to remove and replace. So trash everything out here and you should be pretty good. So windows, they're fine. Um, so you're good here in the living room. Here in the hallway, as you can tell, this is sort of where the majority of the heat or the fire was. So all this will be have to be gutted down to the studs and then just uh, new sheetrock bathroom here. Um, didn't bring my flashlight with me, but it's not in bad shape. However, you would probably need to put a new bathroom in here anyway. So you'd take the new bathroom, or that old bathroom out, new bathroom here. Uh, this bedroom here, again, here's where the heat was, where the fire was, but you can tell that it didn't cause any damage to the wood or the framing of the home. So it's just, again, just smoke damage. Actually, this one, this window was broken out, I guess, by the fire department um, in order to get water into the house. So, replace that window. The rest of the room, again, just... Actually, this room, aside from the very beginning out there, you probably cut out a section of the she rock and then clean the rest of it and paint it. Uh, this window here is in good shape. Again, just paint, new floor, new carpet. <clears throat> the back bedroom, again, don't have my flashlight on me, but this room is the majority of the damage was done here. Um, but again, sorry, it's just all black anyway, so I will move on. But that room there, uh, just she rocked the whole the whole room, and uh, you should be good. So the majority of the project here is going to be demo work. This room here um, was used sort of as a office space, but it is a bedroom. There's your closet. There's your French doors leading onto the deck. So you can literally close this door out here and make it a bedroom again, um, or you can keep it as is. Technically, it is a three one and a half the half we already went in one bathroom the half bath is over here so here in the kitchen again just smoke damage clean up all the smoke nice crown molding there on the frame so clean up all the smoke cabinets are in good shape just reface them uh, for this neighborhood possibly granite countertops uh, definitely new appliances and uh, windows good over here you have sort of uh, I don't know. Don't know what this what this is, but kind of just there's more storage pace. Um, so there's another door to your to exit outside. Here is your laundry room. There's your washer. There's your dryer. Uh, there's some workspace. Have a half bath in here. And probably just update that. 
this room, the room we're in now, was once a garage. So this here, as you can tell, people they use for a work workout room. Has French doors out to the front driveway. Floors of uh, vinyl or sorry laminate floors. You can clean them up and keep them. Uh, they they are pretty sturdy, so they didn't sustain any damage. Uh, however, it just depends. It's uh, you can tile it, put new flooring down. Um, but I definitely will not carpet this area. However, you can carpet the rest of the house where the fire damage was because it's already carpeted. So, and th this property does not have a foundation. It's on crawl space, so it's not on slab. Uh, I would probably get rid of that, this side of the mirrors there. It just looks very dated. Paint that cedar, prevent any damage. Um, so all the brick, the roof, the siding, the soffits, everything's in great shape. Great, uh, awesome deck back here. Let's walk up on the deck and take a look at it. Have a great deck, and then you also have a pool that goes out there. Pool looks like it's uh, <clears throat> it's in good shape, functional, but definitely needs to be cleaned out. Um, it's up to you whether you can just demo the whole pool and get rid of it, sell it, or you know make it functional once again and include it as a bonus for the house. Here you see some window damage, some new windows in the back. <clears throat> in the back here you have uh, some storage shed. Have some storage there, there. The next door neighbor, you have, there's a fence there, a metal fence. I don't know if you can see it, but um, I, since uh. It's a good neighborhood. You really don't need to put up a new fence, but you can. Obviously, there's some uh, wood trash you have to clean up there. The yard was once immaculate, but obviously, since the house has been vacant, um, just clean up all these leaves, and it should be packed in shape. Have a nice little uh, like dollhouse or kid treehouse looking thing. Um, jungle gym for kids there. Maybe and clean it up, secure it again, offers a bonus. This is a nice family oriented community. So, anything you can offer for a family would be a bonus. There's a crawl space. Um, we'll give you a quick shot of the crawl space. There's your AC. You have your hot water heater there, in good shape. Your furnace is out is in there as well, good shape. Maybe service it just to make sure it's good. Here's your pump and everything for your pool. Don't know what kind of condition it's in, but it's there. There's another there's that window again. So as you can tell the brick and everything's in good condition, good siding. Yard just needs cleaning. So this is the property on Wilton.